Hello, everybody. So today is March 21st, 2023. This is day 51 of attempting to upload a daily video um, every day of the week, Monday through Saturday, uh, hoping to actually get to uh, 200. That's that's really my goal right now. So we'll see. So this is 50 of 200, right? So uh, continuing our study of Greg shorthand, we now are on section 45, still in chapter two. And this is a reading and dictation practice exercise. So for this one, what I'll be doing is I will be uh, typing out the uh, transcription, if you will, or just the conversion of Greg into regular spelling. So here we go. Start typing up here, and hopefully you guys can see that. So here we go. I, oh, and my text is the wrong color. So let me make sure that that is as it should be. Select, and let's see here. There we go. So let's go ahead and start again. I go over the factory with him almost every month. Uh, that was the end of a period, so there we go. I very much fear that his living at this time will add to the feeling of the people that all is not well. And then I had this one is an I have been very busy and should have been should have been ready for ready for the trip but this oh by this there we go by what was that? Before this, that's it. Uh, ready for the trip before this. But I shall not leave before you get uh get back get back many uh many changes may be made in the Plan. And then this is the name Jim. Jim. I have camp. And I'm guessing that there should be an I in here. I have a. So let's put that in square brackets to mean that we have inserted it. They did not. I have a camp at a pretty little lake in the country uh 
um, above. Above, uh, what was that? Drawing a blank now. About, that's right. About a half. This is hyphenated, so I'm going to do that on a new line. Half hour trip from, that word is, oh yes, this one's cute. This is Happy Valley. Happy Valley. I go there many a day to fish and to fish and read. Will you go with me in May? The trip to the village Ah, uh, that word is Uh, I think it's some sort of the, right? The truth of it can be. Yeah, that's okay. Can be made in about an hour from here. I, uh, that one, I never... I never leave before one and I am and I never leave before one and I am just lost my place here chicken and I am there A uh, little after two. Uh, that word right there is if you can. Oh, yeah, that's right. If you can go. There should be another comma there. Get your fishing tackle and go in good shape. That's right. I, I, and get your fishing tackle in good shape. Uh, let's see, what is he trying to say? If you can, if you can go get your fishing tackle and go in in good shape uh, put it in put it in your bag i think that should be a comma there right put it in your bag that's put that's a p yeah i think in good shape we'll do semicolon put it in your bag and you and I wi uh, will have a great time.
And then who sent this letter? Ralph. Ralph. Ralphie. <laughs> All right, PH. There you go. All right, so that was the uh, copy work, the reading and dictation exercise for Greg Shorthand, Chapter 2. So hopefully that was helpful to you. You can see that a uh, good demonstration of phrasing principles in this in this reading section, a lot of phrasing principles, um, use of the brief forms. Uh, if you remember, we're now working on the downward characters. So uh, a lot of those characters were present here. So hopefully this was useful to you. Uh, if you if you liked the video, then go ahead and give the video a like on YouTube, uh, su subscribe to the channel for more shorthand content, uh, share it with your friends, um, and uh, you can always check out my GitHub repository that has the, the Greg manual that we're working from, as well as some auxiliary documents, uh, such as a list of the brief forms that you can use, uh, the scripture uh, dictation exercises that I've been working through, that is available as a PDF that you can download. So hopefully uh, you find all that useful. All right, you have a wonderful day. Now go out there and practice some shorthand. All right, bye-bye.